Tony, thank you. And our pinpoint weather team coverage continues now. The snow has stopped falling, but the shoveled mounds are still creating a nuisance. Covered sidewalks are sending pedestrians onto the streets, a potentially dangerous alternative. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pl Pliner joins us now with more from the newsroom. Viewers told Eyewitness News about unshoveled sidewalks in their cities and towns, so we went to check it out. One origin of complaints, Pawtucket. We found some problematic stretches along Main and High Streets and Broadway as it dumps into downtown, forcing some pedestrians off the curb. They're ready to run you down, you know. So, um, yeah, it concerns me and I, uh, you know, I try to be careful, but what can you do? Davis, more concerned for others. School and the elderly, people in wheelchairs, they can't get up on the uh, sidewalks to get to stores or go get their medicines from the pharmacy. Yeah, it's terrible. We found many homes and businesses had tended to their spaces Thursday. As for those who haven't, the city's received calls, but officials tell Eyewitness News violation notices couldn't be sent. By our ordinance, we cannot start enforcing the snow and ice removal from sidewalks until 12 hours after the storm um, resided. So beginning Friday, those who don't act could get summons to court and fined. $25 for residential and uh, 50 for commercial. As for some of the gaps we observed when it came to city sidewalks, officials say they plan on addressing those lingering spots and the real difference should be seen tomorrow. In the newsroom, Jared Planter, Eyewitness News.